Hey guys, this is Meaty Lock coming in for an uh, informative video on the 12W38A and B snapshot. So there's been a lot of exciting changes, um, like there's new sounds for stepping on blocks, there's some new placing sounds, some new mobs, and some sounds for flowing lava and water, which I will show all of that here in a second. So there's a new sound for grass. Can't really hear it, but... Uh, I know for a fact you can hear the other sounds. Let's see. So there's the sound for placing plants. I don't know if that matters what... No, it doesn't matter what type of plant it is. New sound for placing stone. A uh, new sound for placing wood. Sand. And gravel. The sound for sand for gravel, soul sand, and stone. We have some new sounds for flowing lava and flowing water. Can't really hear it. Oh, you can definitely hear the water. It has a little bubbly sound to it. Um, and the beacon. So the beacon has some new artwork, as you can see down here. Probably zoom in on that. And it also the new the beam actually has a new visual. Wow, really cool. I think I like the old beam though. This one's like a uh, swirling, high-tech beam thing. Looks really neat, though. We have, there's a new level up sound. So, let me switch. Actually, I think it just, yeah. A little, a little ding sound every time you level up. I think they said they're gonna change it, though. Okay, so cows supposedly have some new sounds. Come on, make your sounds. A little mooing sound. You got this. I mean, don't be camera shy. Ooh, little, like, breath sound. That's cool. got a little pig sound. We have some new zombie sounds here. Hmm, sounds the same to me, but could be different. <laughs> he just like bounced and shot himself. Oh, he has like a little breaking sound now. I can definitely tell the difference in that. New Enderman sounds. So we also have the bat, the new uh, passive mob in the game. It spawns in dark caves, sleeps during the day, and it hangs on the ceiling when idle, but when it uh, starts flying when the players get near. So they're obviously flying right now. Um, but I've actually searched some caves and uh, tried to get some footage of them. And they do spawn pretty commonly in caves, so I will uh, let you guys actually find those. And then one thing I tried to get footage of was uh, the new the silverfish spawning naturally in caves. And here I have the, the, the silverfish monster's egg block right here. Pretty sure this is the same thing. So when I kill these, yeah, silverfish. Ow. Ow. Yeah, silverfish will spawn naturally in caves when you're mining, and they're they're a really cool addition to caves, even though they are really annoying. But you know, I think it's something that needs to be done. Makes it harder, and uh, I don't know, gives that little <laughs> "shit I mine here" effect. Then we got this new awesome mod called the Witch Mob.
Okay, so he's not really doing much now, but he throws splash potions of poison, slowness, weakness, and instant damage. Whenever you hurt him, he regens health over time, and as you can see, he poisoned me. Uh, it holds an empty bottle and their nose rays when attacking. Rarely drops potions of instant health and fire resistant, is rem rem immune to some splash potions, and does not spawn naturally yet. But he has like a, uh, he looks like a villager, so he's, they're going with that kind of theme. So it probably has like some kind of wizard tower or something, that would be cool. Okay, so sheep, if you shear them, shears have a new sound. Ooh, makes a little cutting sound. That is nice. That is awesome. I like that. Die sheep. Then Flint still makes a new sound. Huh. That is really cool. Another change is the nether loads a lot faster. So if I go in this nether portal right now, it should put me almost instantaneous in the nether. instantaneous but it could be where I'm recording and doing other stuff at the same time so I'm sure if you have uh, you're not recording which takes a lot of your PC it would be a lot faster it does actually that was pretty fast it does seem faster okay so now we're outside the facility I made for the snapshot and item frames before they used to spawn or despawn or not despawn but you know what I mean, you wouldn't be able to see them, the view distance wouldn't be that far. It was only like maybe 20 blocks. So let's go out here and see how far it takes me to not be able to see them. We are definitely way more than 20 blocks. We are probably more than 50 or 60 now. I still see them, wow. So it goes for a while, yeah. It goes for, I can still see them, that is a long time. Okay, so that is more than anyone's ever going to need to be able to see, which is nice. I mean, before, let's say you had a chest system and you had item, or items or whatever over the chest to tell you like, what type of chest it was. If your storage system was pretty big, then you couldn't see like from across the room what you had in those chests, so you might kind of forget. But this does now fix that. I mean, that is a huge area. It goes probably way farther than that, too. I mean, probably until I can't see this building anymore. And as always, um, there is numerous buzz bug fixes, and supposedly there is new sounds for everything. So there'll be stepping sounds for mobs, there'll be stepping sounds for stuff, there'll be block placing sounds. Um, just all kinds of new features and bug fixes, and I'm really excited about the bat and the, the witch. Hopefully the witch spawns naturally in a cool place. And uh, I will uh, have some links in the description below. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And uh, thanks for watching.